the energy I got right when I paddled out, I was like, I, I, I get it, like goosebumps right now talking about it because it's, it's, it's uh, something that I just goes through my blood. Anytime it broke, I was, that was my life. I can't seem to face up to the facts. I'm tense and nervous and I can't relax. I can't sleep cause my bed's on fire. Don't touch me, I'm a real live wire. Psycho killer. That's basically what I was doing. I was just psyching up, going up close every single time Mavericks broke. And then, you know, it's, it's crazy, it's 20 years later now. My group of friends were like the last of the pioneers, you know. We didn't have um, jet skis saving us. We didn't have little airbags to pull. We were surfing Mavericks under the conditions of, of black, you know. It was, that was it, you know what I mean? You made a mistake, you gotta deal with it yourself. There's people that, that charge Mavericks, and then there's people that surf Mavericks. You know, and, and people that charge Mavericks win, win the contest. When I was surfing Mavericks and I was in, when I was psyching on it, I wasn't the most calculated surfer, no way. I was, I was anything but the most calculated surfer. I was just psyched and I was going no matter what, and I put my head down and I was going. Mavericks, is, it's made me and it's broke me and my whole uh, career has, you know what I mean? Like, it's been a really good career and then all of a sudden it got really gnarly career for a while. I had to go through some pretty hard life changes um, and now I'm back to where I'm just, I feel good about life. Here I am with a beautiful baby and a beautiful girlfriend, fiance, and I'm stoked. It's nice to have people that really respect the fact of what I've done in my life and my accomplishments, so.